Maybe I'll cut her some slack. Don't worry, they're gonna buff her again. Trust. And they proved me wrong. Uh, so I kind of like that. Don't use this unit. Just boycott it. <laughs> it's so tanky. Hey guys, Xiaomi. And today we are playing around with Momo. I delayed doing this video for the longest time because I personally dislike this unit. This is not the video of me trying to sell you to build Momo, okay? Hold your devil bonds in your pants. Don't whip them out just yet because this is not like a showcase hype video. This is a video for me to tell you that, hey, it's kind of bad. And also because every time you see a newly buff unit video or discussion, there's always a big question. What about Momo? Where is she? What is she doing right now? Are you okay, Momo? Even Michael Jackson has to ask that. So we have to take a look at Momo and see what's up with her. There's no Devilmon as it should be. Don't do that. She got buffed and nerfed at the same time. She used to stack 500% attack power. And even that, with my previous testing, wasn't a whole lot of extra damage. And now she can only stack 300%, but now she get an extra 300% defense. Everything here sounds like a lot, but it is not a lot. <laughs> Trust. To me, the best thing about her is the leader skill. This is a fat guild content leader skill, especially for one-shot unit like Lucian or Kali or Katarina or whatever. But you can also use this guy that has the same leader skill and he actually kill things, like he kill everything. In order for you to utilize the passive, you need to stay in the fight for long and you can stack up stats so you can be a bruiser unit. So speed could damage HP is probably the way to go. This is like his leftover rune. This is not my account, but you should not put your best rune on Momo anyway. So she's probably gonna get like a lower tier sort of tanky bruiser vial set. But Sean, there are other units in the game that can stack up stats like Mr. Light Dragonite and Jaeger can do some huge damage, right? Yes, Jaeger can do a lot of damage because Jaeger Multiplier is pretty insane. But Mobile Multiplier is not really that insane. And this is a skill one. There's a limit to how strong a skill one can be, unfortunately. In PvE, she has no spot anywhere. Just like every other Nat 5 in the game probably, because we have kind of figured out PvE and she has really no spot in PvE unless you want to put her in here, but I think the 4-star or even the 2-way option is way better. In guild content, every mother and their son and uncle has a Kakano defense. And if you put a wind damage dealer into guild content and is not tanky or immune to defense break, it's gonna get popped immediately even before you even try to stack up any defense a c3 c1 kakano can just pop your momo before she can even do anything that's why fuki is still really really good even after the nerf because you can build fuki very simple with hp and vial and fuki will do amazing damage while tanking all the kakano hit and in rta as a unit that doesn't really protect herself it doesn't qualify as a bruiser and it's a damage dealer that doesn't do a whole lot of damage immediately. Even with full stack, will not do a whole lot of damage. It's gonna be tough in the RTA meta. But after all of that, if your argument is, I want to build Momo because I think she's funny. I want to use her as a toy. Hey, <laughs> fine by me, okay? You do what you want to do. It's a game. You're supposed to have fun. And if building Momo give you joy, spark some happiness in your life, then you do you. Personally, I wouldn't build this unit. Okay, let's try to fight a typical Kakano defense and see how long she can survive. I have two wind units here. Hopefully, that will allow her to survive a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna do this on the Praha. Here's the AoE from Savannah. All right, no defense break just yet. We're gonna try to defense break here. The good thing about her new stacking ability is that she can stack more with multi-hit and if your teammate multi-hit then she can stack even further so let's say her Bastet AoE can stack her pretty fast immediately or let's say a multi-hit team up for example can do a pretty good job at stacking her to high stats pretty fast so that's a bonus okay it's hurting a fair bit right here ouch still to me, the biggest selling point is the 
What do you call that? Leader skill. That's a very fat leader skill in any standard. Okay. Okay. This is getting a little bit tricky because the Lulu is now max health and the defense break or the, the focus might go to her, which is kind of scary. Ouch. Okay. Our Momo is kind of tanky here. I kind of like that. All right. Is this going to turn into something that I'm going to regret? Like, oh, you said Momo's trash. Look at Momo taking all the hits from... Oh! Thank God for defense stacking. <laughs> Without defense stacking, I think Momo could have died right there. Okay, maybe... Maybe I'll cut her some slack. She's tanking this Kakano fairly well. And her damage is not dog shit. It's not good in any mean. But uh, it took some hit. And it proved me wrong. Uh, so I kind of like that. So not bad. Not bad. I'll give it that. This kind of leader skill is also pretty good for the Onimusha family. Because they all need better attack. Okay, what's happening? Let me think about this. I need to give immunity to Momo. Right? Because, oh my god, the lag. Because the Sauron could have defense break and then Fuki one-shot me. So with this attack leader skill, I'll be doing way more damage than usual. Which I kind of like. Boom. Okay, okay. We're gonna buff and heal as well. Kinda scary, kinda scary. Ouch. So, with the AoE defense break, she can help kinda set up for unit like, as you can see, Kaki. She bring the nice little attack leader skill for Kaki and then set up defense break for Kaki. So this can be a team that most people can build. If you want to build a team for Momo, you want to utilize her utility to the maximum, that's good damage right there. Not too bad. Let's check out this Mi Yang defense. That should have been or could have been the new defense. But the thing about Mi Yang is she doesn't really provide a whole lot in terms of defense. Her damage is really average. And her AI is pretty bad as well. Like most of the time she would not use her skill 2 to strip. So it's kind of meaningless to put her on defense if she doesn't start with a strip. And then her heal is okay, but definitely not the most amazing. Unlike Super Heal Lulu, her heal is just okay. So she could have been the defense meta. Oh my god, that's gonna hurt. She could have been a defense meta, but Kakano is still gonna be the best because of how dangerous Kakano Violent Proc can be. Like the Mi Yang Violent Proc doesn't feel like she does, she does anything at all. But Kakano Violent Prop means something is dying almost immediately if Kakano get like a good four turns in a row and nothing can survive that piece of shit. But Miyang can go like four turns and nothing really happened. <laughs> but she's good for offense though. Yeah, ball speed lead option. Always, always good. I don't know what this man is doing here with his team, but we can definitely give it a try. Oh my god. Yes, now I know what he's trying to do right there, Sag. I've also run up the ultimate trio, the storage queen, Christina and Gio. This is an absolute garbage team, but let me try to get a win. Let me try to get a win. And then we're gonna go for damage. Christina also stack up damage all this time. Boom. Damn, that didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> That didn't do a whole lot right there. Oh god. If the Karno AoE, I think we're pretty dead. He double despair stun. Damn, Christina do so much damage like this. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god. Are we dead? Ow, ow, ow. In my head that this is like a meme team that does something like there's AoE defense break, there's AoE damage, but it's actually kind of bad. Surprise, Sean. Surprised. Dude, I, I spent half an hour ruining those units. I want to win at least one time. Please don't strip Praha. Please. Thank you, Praha Dope. All right. Here is our win. I believe. Okay? I strongly believe we can one-shot everything if we land our defense break. Please. Death break? Rolling cannon? Oh my god, this is kind of, actually kind of exciting. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> it did something. Oh my god. And my girl, Momo, will finish the rest of them. 
right, we're gonna just suppress. That doesn't really do a whole lot. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, relax. Relax. Wow, that, that, this was actually a hard game. I might still lose if that thing go four turns in a row. <laughs> yes. Great, great battle. Fine. Okay, it's okay. Don't, don't worry, they're gonna buff her again. Trust. <laughs> if you don't use her, it will show up in their stats. It will, it will show them that Momo is not used. So we should do something about it. That's how they randomly buff LD Nat 5, like, like War Young, because, you know, only two people who has her actually use that unit, kind of deal. So just pretend this, this girl doesn't exist, so that when they take a look at who to buff and they look at stats, hopefully they look at stats, they realize, oh, nobody used Momo. We should do something about it. Maybe that's the conversation they have in their office. Who knows? But maybe, okay? Momo is actually tanking quite well here. But maybe that's the conversation they have. And that is the conversation we need them to have. So don't use this unit. Just boycott it. Pretend it doesn't exist. And then maybe one day, they'll realize that, oh my god, we gotta, gotta buff Momo. Okay, but Momo is actually taking all the damage from Karno. Thanks to the defense stack and the fact that we build with HP, okay? The Lulu nerf right there could have healed the Momo. But yeah, it could have been anything in the the slot here for Momo. Could have been anything. Fuki, Wind Snipers, Ayunu, uh, Christina. I don't think she does anything more amazing than those units, okay? I hate Ho Onimusha. I really hate Onimusha now. Even though I love using them, they're really strong, but the fact that only Musha exists make it really hard to validate any damage dealer in any elements, except for maybe light. Because fire, water, wind, dark, they are among the best damage in that element. And it's kind of annoying that when you use something and you be like, just use the only Musha, bro. So much simpler. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's like, Lucian just dominate every win AoE damage dealer. So Oni Musha also dominate all the bruisers. But the true test for Momo is in RTA. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Wait, he's cleaving me. Watch Momo absolutely murder him. He doesn't have a speed lead. He has to pick a speed lead now. He picked Demon to counter Nana and he doesn't realize that he's it's already over. I outspeed him. Okay, buddy. We're gonna outspeed him easily with this. Little pushback. Little defense break. Oh my god, come on. Let me take a turn. Let my Nana take a turn. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Nana could have wiped the table with that guy. Literally putting Nana in between top tier unit and call the day. I think that's how I'm gonna win with Nana. So if I draft in a way that I can 3v4, I should win with Nana. If only she has some sort of fire monkey king quality, then you can fit her into a bruiser comp. But now she's like a dead weight in the bruiser comp. Yeah, she needs to be immune to something. Or she needs another debuff in her in her kit. Yeah, she needs another another debuff. Oh, this is gonna hurt though. Can you miss? Ooh. Oh, his speed tuning's ass. Eh? Alright, stun Oki. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Ouch. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Here comes the bomb. I think Momo's dead here. Unless he wanna go for Karno. I think the safe play is to go for Karno because Momo doesn't really do anything. He go for Karno, yes. Because Karno's skill 2 and Provoke will be really strong. And he can kinda hope that the Oki stun the Momo. Yes, through glancing. Nice violent but doesn't really achieve anything. Some damage was done but not a whole lot. You need to have defense break for her to do some real damage. But the good thing is, Changpeng is going to come out of that scroll full attack bar, full of skill as well. Can I push back? If only we can push back, that'd be amazing. Um, like Changpeng and Karno can drop to AoE and then Momo be full stack. And doesn't provide anything after that. <laughs> Alright, hello baby. Damage, not really a whole lot. Can I push back? Nice little pushback right there. Can I push back some more? Oh, we die. Oh, we didn't die. Oh, uh, but we can't really do anything. Does she have bomb? She doesn't have bomb. We're gonna defense break. Boom. 
Nice little violin. All right, finish the Ciara. And now Momo is really stacked. Maybe you should go Vampire Momo. Maybe Vampire might be better. Oh God. To win unit against three fire. I'm kind of scared, but Momo's really tanky now, right? I saw the Sierra barely scratch and I would skill one. I have to kill that Chiu. Kill the Chiu, okay. And now we need to land the Despair Stun. Come on. Boom. Nice Despair Stun. Non-existent getting the vial. Wow. What a shocker. Watch who's carrying this game right now. <laughs> Xiangfeng is literally Prince Charming, yeah? He is the knight in shiny armor on a white horse, just hard carry Momo right now. Okay, I mean, he's cleaving and Momo doesn't do anything against cleave. Nana, on the other hand, is really good against cleave. Okay, Lulu, resistance, easy win. Let's see if that happens. Double mage, baby, let's go. Here comes the IOA. Bam, bam, bam. Oh my God, nice resist. <laughs> nice resistance right there. He's not gonna waste the reset on the Momo. Yes, he go for the Lulu, I think we're fine. Most of them don't have max accuracy, right? Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I drop the heat? I think I should because the Ogi has stun. If we manage to stun, wow, I managed to land absolutely nothing on the entire enemy team. Oh my God, I land nothing. Not even a slow debuff from Karno. Did they shadow nerf Karno? I swear, even if I put glancing on Karno and I reset him, I still don't feel secure if he take a turn. It's just that disgusting. All right, can Lulu do something about this situation that we're having right now? No, no, nothing. Oh, wow. The most worthless unit get the violent proc. I think I should put a vampire. <laughs> okay, we have to kill something right now. If we manage to kill something right now, the game is not over yet. Something has to move. Something. <laughs> it's not happening. Good thing is that nobody care about Momo for some reason. Like just nobody. <laughs> Momo about to kill somebody. You know that. Can I kill? Nice crit. <laughs> I'm about to kill you. Boom. Oh my god, that is not a lot of damage. I thought that would be a little bit more, but I think we should be okay. He took way too long to kill something. He could have killed Momo a long time ago, but he chose not to. So uh, that's his fault, not mine. We just have to kill that thing and we're good. Don't stun me. Don't. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we stacked! We won already! Oh my god. So Momo is the under. Now you focus on Momo. It's a little bit too late. Oh my god, dude. He underestimated Momo so much, he just ignored the unit altogether. That is just lame. I think you can build Momo speed, HP, attack. Like, ignore crit damage. I think with the fact that she gained stats, maybe crit damage is meaningless. We should go for additional damage build. She's still not very fast though. I don't want to break, break her runes too much. Okay, we're gonna seal you because you are very disturbing. And then we're gonna do this. Easy strip. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Nothing's dying, right? Nothing's dying. Easy defense break. Nice. Easy stun on Ciara. Nice. Easy damage. Boom. Not a whole lot of damage, but we changed the build to tankiness. We're going to kill this guy. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to try to finish him. Nice. Still good damage without, you know, crit damage. And now I think we're doing really well. Good luck trying to kill me, buddy. <laughs> All right. I think he's going to go for Momo. Let's see the damage. <laughs> It's so tanky. Oh my god. Hit for 1.5. That's so pathetic. Oh my god. The tankiness. The bonus defense is right there. You can't kill her. They all think that she's going to be like swishy damage dealer. But no. Now she's juiced up to be hella tanky. Damage. Let's see. 3k. Oh my god. I got some additional damage by attack and defense in there. And I hit for 3k on that Ciara. Per hit? Not bad. I think we're good, actually. We've got two units of water that can control the bird. We don't have to run Chang Peng's skill immediately. Do we despair stun the bird? With the two despair units we have, we immediately win this game. Watch. 
No disperse them, but the glancing can really help for the pushback. Uh huh. Slow them down a little bit. Easy slow. Oh my god, it's looking like a Shambi video now. Defense break. Can you stop revenging for once? Like, he revenged a lot already. Okay. Uh, let's just do damage on Juno. I want to finish the Juno, like, right now. Silence. The Molong. Missed the silence. Can I finish the Juno? Ah, oh, so close. Oh, that's a fat heal, though. Oh my god, that's a fat stun. Did I reset the Molong at all? I have no idea. Maybe? Oh, that didn't really matter anymore. Can I stun you? He still can move a lot and he revenge and shit, which is kind of annoying. You are silenced. Relax. You are silenced and glancing. Relaxed. Crit. Nice crit. Momo's getting stronger and stronger. I don't know if it, it matter against <laughs> the enemy team right now, but uh, she's... Oh, the Chang Feng and the, the hard carry. Oh, crap. Okay, he chose to shield. Thank God. If he go for the big daddy damage, I might be sad. All right, we're not doing any damage to him. Holy moly. Strip. Nice. Oh my God, Vile Chang Pang is disgusting. Oh, I'm so used to this bad Chang Pang on my account. So Vile Chang Pang to me is just a whole new world. All right, just kidding. Finished. I mean, good damage. I wish she can self-heal. This jumper has to stop, bro. Holy moly. All right. Big damage. Not bad. But she needs some attack bar gain mechanic, I feel. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot to be, like, broken. But... I can see her being... somewhat decent. Maybe, because she's kind of tanky. She has been taking a lot of hits, and she's still fine. But mostly because, oh, I should have skill 3 right there. Mostly because Chang Pang just absolutely carried this game, so that's a different story. <laughs> but anyway, that was Momo. In conclusion, don't build it. It's kind of bad. So uh, if you want to build it for fun, of course, just do it. But still, don't do it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video... Okay, it's kind of cringe. 